Hello, my name is Bruce. I'm going to guide you through the process of adding a Twitter feed to a page on Web Launch. Um, now, this is the page that I want to add the Twitter feed to. Um, first thing to do is to go over to Twitter and in this right hand panel, uh, currently it's the last link, it says resources. Just click on that. Uh, and we are looking for a widget, so click on the widget section in the middle here. Um, and we want it for my website, so click on the my website link. Uh, the style of widget that we are most commonly asked for is a profile widget. Uh, there are other options here, uh, which are uh, uh, described here on this page. I'll show you how to do a profile widget. So click on profile widget. Um, and the first thing I want to do is to set the preferences. Um, now I can poll for new results here. I can include a scroll bar. Um, I can do this at timed intervals or just load all tweets. Um, and you can also change the number of tweets. Now in order to see those updates here in this preview, you need to just hit test settings there. Um, now this doesn't match my website, so I'm going to change the colors here. Um, now I'm going to shell, change the shell background here to um, a background that matches my website. And now I happen to know what that is, so I'm just going to copy and paste that in. Uh, I want the background, tweet background to be white. Uh, I want the links to match the colors of the links on my website. So I'm going to paste that in there. Uh, the shell text I'm going to change to black so it just stands out a little bit more against that green. And at the moment, as you can see, we can't even see the tweet text. So I'm going to change that to black as well. Uh, and in this instance, the changes that I make here appear instantly in the preview. And lastly, we have the option to change the dimensions. Uh, now again, th these won't appear at all on this preview. I'm happy with the dimensions that we've got there, so I'm just going to use the default settings. So just click the Finish and Grab Code button, uh, and then all I need to do is just click here and it selects everything for me. So I'm going to copy that, which is uh, Control c um, And then I need to go over to the Web Launch uh, Control Panel, uh, where I've already got the page uh, selected that I want to add the Twitter feed to. Um, I'm going to put it right at the top of the page. Now, because what I've just copied is code, I can't paste it straight in here. I need to paste it into the HTML editor, uh, which is this chap here. Uh, I'm going to put it right at the top. I'm just going to paste that in there uh, and then click Update. Now, it won't appear here. Not yet, I'm afraid. Uh, what you need to do is save the page. Uh, and then if I go back to the public version of the page and refresh, ta-da, there is my Twitter feed. Uh, now that's all very well, but that's taking up quite a lot of space there. I don't really want it slapped over to the left like that with everything underneath it. I'd really, I'd like it sitting over here uh, with my page continuing where it is. Uh, now, there's a sneaky little trick that we can use, uh, and that is just to copy and paste a bit of code uh, underneath Twitter's code. Uh, and you'll find the bit of uh, code that you need to copy and paste in there in the page below the video. So once again, back in the control panel, I'm going to click the HTML button here. Uh, I'm just going to find the end of the Twitter code here which actually, f you can see it there, I've highlighted it there, but it, we've got uh, a script tag there as the last thing there. So I'm just going to paste my code in straight after that. I'm going to press update, save. Now I'm going to go back to my live page and refresh that, and we'll see that jump over to the right. And there we are that's all done. I now have 
my Twitter feed with my tweets on the right hand side of my page. My content is back where it was. Uh, and that's it. Job done. Thank you very much.